It looked interesting. It's, it's like unlike any other Game Boy game I've played. It's called Resident, e Resident Evil Gaiden. Apparently it's a side story on the Game Boy. And uh, we're playing on real hardware. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. Uh, you play as Barry. Yeah, this was made by Capcom. This is a real game. It's made by Capcom in like version UK or something. It's wild. I started a game, but I'll start from the beginning. Like, the graphics are, like, not bad for a Game Boy game. Like, this is a Game Boy Color game. It's also one of the biggest carts in the... in the, uh, in the library. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, 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 it's official. I don't know if it's canon, but it's definitely official. And you start, you start the game off playing as Barry. I played it for a little bit before the stream started. <clears throat> just to see what it was like. And, uh... Yeah, it's not like anything I've played before, that's for sure. Ours members and ex-umbrella employees somewhere in North America at the no underground organization's hideout. 2.30 a.m. Barry reporting for duty. <laughs> Good to see you, Barry. Any type of BOW developed on Umbrella Labs has escaped. Believed to be among the passengers of the luxury. Ocean. So yeah, you start off the game on a on a cruise ship. It's extremely dangerous creature, even in a human's form. Leon Kennedy is there for some reason, but we've lost contact. So you're playing as Barry, and you have to go to find Leon. Locate Leon and eliminate the BOW. Via hell. I mean, like like look at like this is a Game Boy. Like this is not bad, right? Like graphically speaking, this ain't this ain't terrible. Starlight currently cruising in the Atlantic. Extraction via helicopter. Look at Barry. Look at his beautiful red hair. Look at Barry, see Look at Barry. See, that's how they drew Barry. Yeah, you're Barry. I mean, I know it's just trying to like pull a Metal Gear Solid. Look at look how they made Barry look. <laughs> you're now on the side deck. Make your way to the west lobby. Look for useful items. The alert icon will show you an item. Oh yeah, that's the thing. When you walk past an item you can pick up, you'll get like a little exclamation point pop up over your head. And then you can aim your gun by holding the B button. And that sends a targeting reticle out that you can like aim at enemies with. And if you let go, it will hit a zombie. Otherwise, if the zombies get too close to you, uh, they immediately start a fight. It's wild, right? But graphically, it's like... Graphically, it's pretty good, right? For a Game Boy game? It's not, it's not terrible. It's got doors. The little alert icon in the bottom right corner tells you when you're near something or when something's gonna get close to you that can attack you. I keep telling people that the Game Boy was full of really interesting titles, and this is one of them for sure. I think the music leaves it a little bit to desired, but it really isn't that bad. I know, right? <laughs> it kind of sounds like the Pokemon theme. <laughs> Supply box. I got bullets. Let's go. Is there anything else in that box? Also, I noticed that when you get near enemies, the, the music actually speeds up. So it's kind of like spooky. My current objective will be shown in your PDA. Okay, yeah, we know about this. The map tells you where you are. Continue after a mission. You can continue, right? And I think this is a herb. It's a yellow herb. So you don't even mix herbs, you just find them. Be careful. The battle system on this game is wild too. You do aim at people. And you do shoot at the zombies, but it's weird how it works. I'll show you how it works. Got a cutscene. Oh my god. Hey, Intrude, check this out. We're playing Resident Evil. They're not human anymore. Gotta run away. The zombies also like groan at you and stuff. It's really wild. You hear that? Like, they make the noise. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fight this one. 
you have to like move left and right and then tap the button when it centers up over the thing. That's how you fight. <clears throat> and then sometimes when you drop them, you'll pick up bullets. I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited to play some Game Boy games for y'all. This is going to be a good time. When you try to run away in battle, you must fire your weapon and hit the target in the middle. Zombies will try harder to hit you whilst you're running away. And like, yeah, you get alerted when like you're somewhat nearby an item or a weapon or something. Anyway, how was your weekend, Intrude? I hadn't seen you in a while. Are you feeling alright? You feeling good? Make your way to the security room on the fourth floor. Elevators on the west. Maybe you can find Leon with the security cam. Okay, yeah, maybe we can. Who is okay? Always be looking on the herbs. Apply an herb within your inventory. We know how herbs work. <clears throat> you get random calls from your boss. And you find herbs. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, you play as Barry, and apparently you're looking for Leon. You, you don't know where he is. You gotta find him on this boat. You haven't been on in a while? No, it's all good. You do what you gotta do, man. I'm just saying it's good to see you again. Heavy duty electrical fused. Okay, yeah, we need that. Yeah, you're, you're playing as Barry. It's Barry. Hold on. It's Barry. You get to play as him. It's you. Isn't that wild? <laughs> and then you're looking for Leon on a boat. Go figure. I guess if you catch a zombie not looking at you, then you get the them and then sometimes if you drop them you can pick up their stuff sometimes they come back to life I'm gonna try to run past this dude nope I got caught you gotta press the B button to like push him off shoot go die thank you that was quick I'm gonna aim for you and then fire see the further away they are the smaller your target is. You do not have shotgun. You can oh yeah. This game is lame because if you don't have the gun, you can't pick up the ammo <laughs> until you get the gun. In the OG Resident Evil 3, if you look closely at the last boss level, there's a berry Easter egg. I didn't know that. <clears throat> I was not aware of this. I think I have to go... Oh, I don't want to get into fights if I don't have to. Give me some more bullets. See, they're hiding in there. And then there's supposed to be like a... There's a female zombie. You can get poisoned by them, apparently. If you get this, you won't be poisoned anymore. Oh no, I'm missing. Ah! Stop missing! Oh, Barry. How could you get wrecked? <laughs> but you see, you notice how like the music's getting faster? Okay, I think I have to use the herbs, because I've been poisoned. Alright, I'm healed, I think. They put shotgun shells in the bathroom for some reason, but I don't know. I don't know why. I don't have a shotgun until like I turn the corner. To unlock the door, key. yeah. Sometimes you have to kill the zombies because the zombies have uh, have uh, keys on them. Shoot! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Ah, oh, come on! So it's like it's basically a rhythm game, I guess. <laughs> your bullets and then yeah sometimes the zombies come back to life there we go we got the shotgun let's go this guy was dead he's got shotgun shells yeah when you're further away from zombies the music slows down 
And then when you get close to zombies, it starts to speed up again. So yeah, like, graphically speaking, this game isn't bad, right? Like, it's pretty good. I hope they're not Crimson Heads. Those are scary. Struggle by trying to move. The game's actually pretty decent. What's up, Vec? How are you, man? Yeah, this is a... Uh... I've seen footage of this, but I hadn't actually played it before. I'm kind of impressed by it. It's also a really big... It's a really big cartridge. I think it's one of the bigger sized cartridges on the library. So, because it takes some time to load these games onto the cartridge, uh, I decided to play this one first. But yeah, this is a surprisingly competent game. Like, I could, I could see myself playing through this whole thing. Stay away, stay away. The shotguns are supposed to be better than the frickin' pistols. And for some reason, it doesn't kill them. Like, as easily as the pistol does. I'll oh, give me some herbs, baby. More games should have crimson heads. In my opinion. So yeah, we're just looking for Leon. I think what we'll do is we'll play till we get to Leon. I have a big list of games I want to get through, so... <clears throat> as I was saying earlier, I was having some issues, uh with the Game Boy Player specifically in this flash cart. This flash cart's really good. It's like $20. However, you get what you pay for in some aspects. The reason why I wanted this flash cart in particular is because this flash cart has save states. You can do save states. It doesn't have a real-time clock, so you can't play Pokemon with uh, the real-time clock. I guess Pokemon Silver requires it. But you get, you know, it plays other games pretty well, and it has save states. The other option would have been an EverDrive, and those go for like 120 bucks. And there's no way I'm playing 120 bucks for a Game Boy Flash card. <laughs> so, twenty dollars versus 120. I, I think the choice was obvious. Stay away. So yeah, that, that's why I got this one. In, in, ooh, grenade launcher. That's why I got this one in particular. And so. It works great when you're playing on Game Boy, like on an actual Game Boy console, or like a Game Boy Advance or whatever, but for some reason on, on this setup, on my setup, the Game Boy Player, with my HDMI cable, it messes up in the menu, and so what happens in the menu is you can't see your the arrow that lets you select the games that you want to load to the thing. It's a blank arrow. Now, that doesn't mean you can't pick what you want to play. You can definitely pick and scroll through everything, However, you can't see the arrow, so you have to like sit there. I'm sitting there counting the amount of titles, and I've loaded every single game from the from the Game Boy console <laughs> library onto this thing. So it's like, yeah, I gotta like figure out how to pick games properly. What is this? A grubby key used to open one of the ship's kitchens on the first floor. A grubby key. And this thing doesn't have a battery built into it. Like I said, no real-time clock. However, it can save. Um, your save file to the SD card. There's a there's a physical switch on the cart itself that once you tap it, it will um, allow you to save whatever file it's it's in the in the temporary memory to you know for long term storage, which is great. <sighs> Come on, I need to stop using this shotgun. I keep missing all the shots. You see how many shots it takes? And if you miss, it, it takes even more. This is worth it. This is not worth it. I'm gonna switch over back to my gun. Hey, you got herbs, you got you got the whole nine yards, man. This game's kinda awesome. I wish I had this game growing up. Alright, green arrow means there's something that can pick up, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, green arrow means pick up. And then red arrow means that you're too close to the enemy. You're too close to Dylon. Oh no! No, no, get away! Get off! She's gonna poison me. No! Oh, come on, you take too many hits. Alright, let's get out of here. If she gets too close, she's gonna destroy you. She's got poison on her claws. 
So yeah, the fighting bits end up being like a rhythm game. And you gotta like time it. And then you can get the jump on some of the enemies by aiming at your gun at them before they get to you. Otherwise, if they get to you, then yet you push them off and then you immediately go into, into battle. It is kind of neat. It's kind of like a weird RPG-ish style game. Hello, Kiwi. You made it. You've, you've arrived. Kiwi has arrived. Everybody say hello to Kiwi. Kiwi's here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Alright, let's, uh... Let's work our way around here. So for those who are just arriving, we're looking for Leon. For some reason, he decided to go on this boat by himself. This cruise ship that just got hit with the coronavirus. And now everybody's dying. I can't reach you. You're too far away. I'm going to shoot you. Intrudes in the house, and so is Dead Vec. This was a suggestion from Dead Vec. Apparently he knows something that we don't. Almost all of Dead Vec's choices were... What does this red mean? Almost all of Dead Vex's choices were uh, Game Boy Color games, which are good, uh, but that's okay. The Game Boy Color games tend to have larger ROM sizes. Oh my god, we have to fight everybody? They have larger ROM sizes, so we're starting with Resident Evil just because it's a bigger game and it takes longer to load onto the flashcard. I'll show you guys that process here in a bit. I'm going to run out of ammo. Give me bullets. Okay, I, I appreciate the herbs, but I need bullets. There's so much you have to keep track of in this game. Yes, it's like a Resident Evil game. Let's not mention Isekai for today. <laughs> Resident Evil is definitely an Isekai. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Stay away! Aw oh, man. Those guys, they're the worst! They do so much damage. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Ah, and I'm poisoned. All right. Uh, it's not gonna look good. I don't think I'm, I'm able to heal myself completely. Oh no. Barry, you're almost out of ammo. Oh, remember how I stepped on the glass the other day? I'm in crutches now. I've never had to use crutches before, but it's pretty hard. You're not gonna lie. Kiwi, what happened? Why did you Why did you step on glass? Why were you walking barefoot? That sounds incredibly painful. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm looking for Leon. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> A little bit, doesn't it? It's mostly red. It's... It's, it's kind of red. Yeah, Kiwi, be careful. Dad. What's wrong? Oh, no! No! I'm, I'm in trouble. Okay, that worked. Give me more ammo? Okay, let's cancel. Let's cancel poison, please. We want to cancel poison. Use it. Thank you. Stay away from me. How many more... How many doors are here? Oh my god, and then like two days later, my other roommate dropped another glass bowl. Who's, who's, I think someone's trying to sabotage your house. This is the, yes, this is Resident Evil Gaiden. Which is a surprisingly decent game. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Can I use my, can I use the key here? I'm gonna die. I'm looking for Leon. Leon! The battle is, is essentially a, a rhythm game. No, get away from me. How come I can't open any of these doors? Hey, right, listen, I got keys and I can't open any of them. Do I have to use it, like, in front of the door? Is that, is that how this is working? can't use. Okay. Um. Use? OK, 
Okay, so where am, I, where am I supposed to use this then? Am I even on the first floor? I'm on the third floor. All right, I guess I have to go all the way down? It is, it is kind of weird. The music, uh, the music is crazy. <laughs> Those are elevators, but the, the key supposedly is the first floor elevator. Uh, and I'm on the third floor. Uh, this is the key to operate a set of elevators to the west of the ship. I mean, this is the west, right? Unless I don't know my cardinal directions. It's just I'm just on the third floor, so I don't have any like sense of direction. Is this Shaggy? What's up, Shaggy Sands? How you doing, man? We're playing Resident Evil Guide in for a little bit longer, and then we're gonna switch gears and play another game here. Okay. Uh... Is there a cell button? Call button? Uh, I don't think so. Not that I saw. No, there's not one. I only have so many shots left. Crap. This doesn't work like a real shotgun. You actually still have to, like... Ugh, I'm out of everything. Oh no, this is bad. I'm in, I'm in a bad spot. I only have two bullets left. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a call button here. This is Resident Evil Gaiden. It doesn't spray. It's still, yeah, you still have to be accurate with it. Like, you actually have to hit the target, like how it says. I guess it does more damage. Oh, at least I hope it does. But it doesn't spray at the, at the corners like you'd expect it to. Yeah, that's bad. All right, I think I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna play a different game at this point because I don't see. Are there elevators here? I'm on a yeah, I'm on a cruise ship that got infect a bunch of people infected. We're looking for Leon, and he's not here anywhere. Yeah, we got lots of games to go, so. All right, well, this game is interesting. I do appreciate it. I think it's cool. Uh, I would probably play it again. Honestly would. Seems like a decent game. All right, so this is this is the issue I'm having, y'all. I'm gonna have to like, normally, oh, I, I can see it. I can see the gray arrow. Yo. Barry made plenty of reappearances, actually. Yeah, it kind of feels like Ghost Babel. I was gonna say, it kind of reminds me of Ghost Babel. Look, my, my arrow is working now, y'all. It's there. It wasn't there before, and now it is. I can't believe it. It actually works. All right, we're going to play a simpler game now. Let's see if we can get to it without this thing messing up. This is one of the very first games I played on Game Boy. And if you've been on my stream before, you have heard the music for this game. This is called Hayanko... Hyankyo Alien. This is actually a, a remake of an old PC game, I guess. And then they made a Game Boy version of it. This is a very simple... This is a simpler game. This is not a Game Boy Color game. Um, but it's fun. Yeah, Barry was in the original, uh, original Resident Evil. He was also... They brought him back. They brought Barry back for for this game called Resident Evil Revelations. And he has a daughter, and you have to like, I mean, it's it's been established that he has a family in the very first Resident Evil, but you actually get to see his daughter in the, in the game, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, Barry has a lot of background. So this is Hyanko Alien. This game is very simple, but please pay attention to the soundtrack, because this is a banger soundtrack. So yeah, the, the whole purpose of this game is your aliens are invading feudal Japan and you're trying to dig them up. That's, you're a farmer trying to save your land by digging holes to make the aliens fall into it. That's the whole game. <laughs> you're protecting your farmland from the aliens.
get rid of them. When you're a farmer, the only tools you have are your shovel and the earth. <laughs> I used to play this game for hours, man. I love this game. Very aliens alive, like you do. They're weak against the ground. Yeah, and this OST is amazing. I love I love the music on this game. What I really appreciate, if you guys are wearing headphones, you'll hear it. There's some really good stereo separation going on in the sound channels. It's really, it's really, it has a lot of texture to it, and it sounds really cool. Point, I think the stage layout changes and it repeats the music. This is this is by far my favorite tune. Th this tune. Ah! No! <laughs> Get away. Pac-Man a little bit, with his own little spin. The ARPs, the ARPs are really strong too, like I, I don't know, it's, it's good music. <laughs> oh crap, am I in trouble? I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble! Yeah, so they, they sort of like try to move towards you and then you can get them in loops where they just keep going in a circle over and over again. But generally speaking, yeah, like they're, they're kind of like Pac-Man ghosts. They have like a loose algorithmic way of traveling. And they'll try to avoid holes, but sometimes they'll just go straight into them. The thing is, if another alien runs into into the hole that an another alien's caught into, it'll immediately free it. So you have to like, you have to sort of be quick about burying them up when they get caught. Yeah, see, they have a sort of a void. So it's in your best interest to bury them as fast as possible. It really did, man. I paid attention as a kid when I was playing these music, this these games. Oh, I see. Yeah, it gets harder and harder. I'd say that the Game Boy had better music than the Nintendo. The Nintendo, the Famicom, and, and the NES. I think it had better music than, than those, in my opinion. Oh, no! <laughs> I got eaten. You get destroyed. No! <laughs> His face when he gets absorbed by the alien. <laughs> I think I've beaten this game one time. I beat it once. The ending, the ending sequence is really cute, but it's hard, man. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see how the, the dude got freed. Crap! 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 Let's go. I might be in trouble. Oh no, what? Oh no! No, you don't have friends. Although this game does have a two-player mode, I think. I think uh, I think I may have actually screwed myself on that one. I, I, I may have hit the... the hole once by accident before it, the alien fell into it. And so then it caused it to come out. Yeah, but... Keep in mind, this is Game Boy, so like two player would would involve like link cables and stuff like that. You, you need a link cable to actually do it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Get away! 
away. <laughs> Before I switch uh, games here, I'll, I'll show you the classic version, so you guys can see what the, the the classic version is not as interesting as the remake. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, stay away. Better music is all that was better on GB over Famicom. Better music is all that was better on GB over Famicom. Yes. Oh yeah, there's these cute little, cute little inter interstitials. <laughs> this game had a huge marketing push in America. As Japanese as this game is, this game is very Japanese. Uh, in, in both in theme and graphics and like everything. Like you got pagodas. Oh, I'm dead. And, and, you know, it's set in feudal Japan. You got the arches, the Fox Shrine stuff. But this game had a huge uh, marketing campaign in America. Like, it, it was substantial. Like, they, they really were trying to sell this game hard. Go, 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 go. Man, come on. Get off. No! <laughs> See, that's the kind of garbage that starts to get com get complicated. I think... I they can, yeah, they can bump themselves out of the hole if if they if you let them get away with it. I'm I'm dead. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! Stay away! Take a take a risk. Go in my hole. Drop in the ground hole. Go in there. What are you doing? I'm in trouble. Stay away! <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> Why would you go? Why would you go that way? Oh, come on, fool! Uh, uh. Come on, man! These guys, these guys are ruthless. Uh, I think I'm done. Goodbye. You see, they even turn you into like the the stereotypical like ghost. So that that was high Kyo alien. The old version, like I said, is not as interesting. This was based on the PC version. And that's what it looked like. <laughs> this is exactly what the game looked like back in the day. So you can see that the remake was a lot better. But if you wanted to play the original, you can. It's on here. Just like you remembered. It's built into the cart. I like the new one because it has banger tunes, so. Ah, oh, see, I didn't even do it all the way. Anyway, that's High Enkyo Alien. Please enjoy. All right, what's next? Uh, this is another game. Yeah, for some reason, the arrow can be seen now. This is great. I love it. This is another game that I used to play as a kid. Uh, we'll go to it. This is a puzzle game. D Dedalian Opus. Uh, you, some of you may have actually heard of this. This is a classic game. It's a very simple puzzler, but it had a cute little. Uh, it's made by Vic Tokai. Vic Tokai made a lot of games back in back on the NES and a handful of games on the Game Boy. It had a password system, so there's no saving no, no saving on it. Uh, but the art style kind of reminds me of like Dragon Ball a little bit. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's Dr. P. <laughs> Dr. P. Uh, does Vic Toka exist? I don't think so. I think I think they're they don't they're done. They may have been bought out by another company at some point. But I, I believe that they were they were. Uh, if you know what Golgo 13 is, they were responsible for Golgo 13 on the NES. It's a game where you play as a sniper. It was an anime originally, or a manga. It looks like Dr. Slump, yeah. <laughs> and then what was cool is like there's like a little overworld. And 
you like run around, and then you go to each little puzzle room. And then you solve the puzzles. And the puzzles are like, they're basically just like, you fill them up and you get, you get your puzzles that you have to fill in the spots. And then you can rotate pieces and if you hit start, you can mirror the pieces. Right? This is the game I was telling you about, Simon. Little puzzle game. And then every time you. You gotta fill in all the spots. The music on this game is really cute, too. Also, I like dancing on the overworld. <laughs> That's the password. That's the password for stage two. Every time you beat a, a stage, you, you get a password. All the passwords are four-letter words. Now, I don't remember a lot of these, a lot of these solutions, I'm going to be honest with y'all. So, <laughs> I might fail when trying to solve these. Yeah, see, I'm already, like, on the wrong path here. This is the type of game you play when you're bored and you're a child. Alright, let me flip this around. Wait, all the way around. There we go. It's not a time limit. I think it, I think it just times how long it takes you to, to do it. So you can go in and, like, keep a record and compete with your friends and see who could be the quickest. But, like, once you know the solution, it's like, you know, you already know the solution, so... Easy. Let's go. Big stick. This guy's scooting on the bridge. <laughs> uh, I think I think you can give up, and then if you give up, you can just come back and like put the password in whenever you want to play again. I don't know if this. I don't think there's high stakes. Also, some puzzles you don't have to use every piece. Uh, I just remembered that. <laughs> Some puzzles don't require don't require the use of every single piece. Uh, you know, this and this one's pretty obvious that you're not going to use every piece because of uh, of that T, right? So you sort of have to figure out where everything goes. Uh, flip that one. All right, cool. So you guys get the point. Very simple, easy time waster. I spent a lot of time playing this game. I, I'm pretty sure I beat this one, but the later puzzles, they get really tough. Like, they, there's puzzles where the whole screen gets filled up. Nice. Nice. I believe there's 50. I think there's 50 total, if I remember correctly. But yeah, you get the idea. Basically, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then by the end, they start having puzzles that are like, like a cross. And then you gotta fill in all the pieces, you know. But yeah, that's that's the Daily Opus. Fun game, good game. Pretty simple. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, we can play. A lot of people remember playing Tetris. Uh, oh wait, I messed up. Shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. I hit the same game. Okay. A lot of people remember Tetris. However, I'm not going to play original Tetris, even though that that would be the one that you expect me to play. I'm going to play. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I think it's on here. I'm going to play instead. I believe it was a Tetris. The oh my god, Doctor P is Doctor Slump, <laughs> Doctor Plump. Was it Tetris DX? Let's find out. Let's let's see if it's Tetris DX. I th well, the game I was looking for is Tetris Plus. Tetris Deluxe might be a different game entirely. Doctor P, he's the guy who tells. So from what I understand, the the Daily and Opus is like this puzzle. Uh, it's it's uh it's the grand work of a goddess, and she's she wants you to solve her puzzle pieces, and then so Doctor P is like your guide. 
into the Dedalian Opus, and you're supposed to like work your way into. If you look up the cover art for Dedalian Opus, it's actually pretty interesting. It has like this little like weird like mystical woman. She kind of looks like an Amazon, and she's like she's pulling all the pieces into into their place. And it's just like oh, it's so mystical and like heavenly, and you know. Okay, th this is not the game I was thinking of. So we will get out of here. We're we're gonna ju we're just gonna have to play the other one. We're just gonna have to play it. So let's go to it's a GB ROM then, and it is down. This is the game I played a lot of as a child, and this game rocked. Tetris Plus. Here we go. I mean, the main character is you. You're the main character. You're the one. You're the dude. Doctor P is just like the eccentric doctor that's helping you <laughs> get to where you need to go. <laughs> Master P Tetris safe found let's go now this game is interesting because it's Tetris but and it was made by Jalico this game was this game was produced by Jalico oh thank you you know what it could be they, this game actually had a PlayStation port if you can believe that This game is cool because you can play classic Tetris, but then there's a puzzle mode. And the puzzle mode is what's really interesting because it's kind of like you, you travel from place to place around the world looking for treasures. And what you're trying to do is help the dude get the treasure in the stage. And then you can also make your own puzzles in the edit mode, which is really cool. I own a physical copy of this somewhere. And I think I, had, I made some of my own puzzles, but we're playing on the flashcard, so. Also, the music was really fun. So we'll, we'll play the puzzle mode, because that's actually what I want to show y'all. We'll, we'll do it on easy. So you pick what country you want to go to, right? And then you go there, and then you steal all the ancient treasures. We're going to go to Angkor Wat. <laughs> this, is where I learned, this is where I learned what Angkor Wat was. <laughs> <laughs> so many statues, intriguing. And the idea is that you're supposed to like help the dude get out before he dies or whatever, right? <laughs> He's like the, the hapless explorer getting into trouble. And if you drop pieces on top of him, he'll like use them to, to get out, right? So what you're trying to do is just like clear enough lines so that he can get to the bottom without getting smashed. And I'm doing terrible right now. Alright, let's uh... So this is Tetris Plus. You gotta save the dude from dying. I need another stick. Give me another stick. Look at the four piece baby. Look at that four piece chicken. Yeah, I think he's dead. I think you're dead, man. Can I just clear those? Okay, maybe you're not dead. I think you're okay. He's just trying to climb to get out, right? doing terrible. I should have been done by now. Uh, we're just gonna pull up there. You're gonna die, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, let, let's let's just retire. <laughs> we'll start over. <laughs> the idea is to clear enough so that the, the dude can escape. That's the idea, right? Clear enough, he gets to the goal, and you win. Yeah, you gotta retire. Sometimes you get screwed over by the uh, the algorithm, the way that these pieces feed you. And you don't necessarily have to clear every line, by the way. You just have to make a path for him to get to the bottom. That's really what it boils down to. So sometimes, like once you clear enough lines, it might be in your best interest to just like let him find his way to the exit. 
Okay, I think I can beat it now. Yeah. So right there, that's enough for him to get, to get out. So you just like wait until he walks through the wall. And then you get a bonus, right? Sometimes you get really e you get really easy patterns where you can just like drop them immediately. Sometimes you get screwed over and you don't get anything. Yeah, th this game was uh, apparently you can play this on PlayStation as well. It's on the original PlayStation. Drop, 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 go down, go down. No, no, the other way, other way, other way, other way. So they put like these predefined uh, patterns ahead of time, and then you just have to like work your way around them. I think that should be enough. Oh no, that's not enough. Also, the music is really good, as as per usual on most Game Boy games. <laughs> Not ideal. Crap. Do I want? Yeah, I should. Alright, go, go, go. Drop. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of He's too fat to fall in the one block wide hole. <laughs> yeah, you have to clear out at least. And then, yeah, there you go. You stole a treasure. You're like a true little archaeologist. Oh, yeah, this, I remember this one. This is a funny one. So, yeah, like, and then the cool thing is you can make your own, you can make your own, uh, your own puzzles, and then you can, like, tell your friends to try them out and be like, hey, can you solve my puzzle? Can you get the dude out? Bet you can't. And you could be the coolest kid in school. I'm just going to keep going until I get the right L, L block. And that's the other thing. You can, like, drop pieces here, and it'll just break. This is the right way to play. Sega! Well, we're not playing Sega games, but I appreciate the, the enthusiasm. <laughs> Thank you, Ange. <laughs> Thank you for coming in with the Sega. Today is a Game Boy day. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This, one, this one's a pain. You have to sort of like slot pieces into the side so that you could like... You, you can kind of like drop pieces in like that, and then he'll climb up and over. You see, you see how he, how he does that. And then at that point, you can just make him get out. But like, I remember as a kid, I used to like, I used to like try to like clear that whole pattern. I couldn't do it. You got your hands in my hair, and I'm out here watching. Oh, thank you, thank you, Ange, over here with. The, uh, since you have your hands busy, we're just gonna go ahead and clap for you. But thank you, thank you so much. That was, that was very nice of you. Alright, what, what do we do here? Uh, it's coming up, it's coming up. I think, I want to say that there's 10 stages. And I'm pretty close to finishing here. In fact, we could probably try that one next. That's probably another big game. Uh, let's see where we're at. On my list of on my list of titles here. Right, we can remove that one. Yeah, we'll we'll try Daikatana next. We can go back to the, the Game Boy Color Land. I'm curious if I can like save the game. I guess you can't. Alright, well I'm gonna do a save state. I'll come back to it later. So yeah, you can press a button on the cart itself. There's a physical button on the cart, and then that lets you uh save states, which is great. That's part of the reason why I bought this card in particular. All right, so we are in the D. And we're gonna do Daikatana. Apparently there's a US prototype and a Japanese regular version. So we're gonna try the US prototype because I assume it's in English. And by the way, for the Bimani heads in the chat, the Game Boy did have a handful of Dance Dance Revolution games and it also had a handful of pop music games. So if you're familiar with either of those, 
Those are on here. We might play one later. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but <laughs> it's not on my list. But if we get through the list pretty quickly, then we can do that. Anyway, let's let's load up the uh, one of the prototypes. I guess it came out in Japan officially, but it didn't come out in America. But yeah, the cart has like a tiny little button. It's like a little clicky button. If you saw my 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 Twitter post, I took I took a photo of it. And yeah, the idea is that you can use that to save your save your save to the SD card because there's no battery on this particular ROM card. All the saves can be saved to the SD card, but you have to hit the button to physically enable that feature. There are other cards that have batteries built in, um, but I think those last probably like about five years. Some Game Boy games are a little bit better uh, about lasting longer than that. But these carts, because they have a higher draw, a power draw, they tend to be a bit, um, they tend to not last as long. And then if they do die, you have to replace them, and there's a whole rigmarole you have to do. Well, I've never played this, so this is a sight read. This was a game made by John Romero on PC, and apparently it got a Game Boy port. <laughs> Wow! I'm tired. That's all for today. Is this the dojo of Hiro Miyamoto? I need to meet with Hiro. I'm Hiro Miyamoto. Do you work for Kage Mishima? No, I despise the Mishimas. Well, come inside. We'd like to talk in private. Would you mind? This music's pretty good. I'm Toshira Ebihara. I have a very important story to tell you as long as you're a real samurai. Okay, okay, just tell me your story. Centuries ago, there was a huge battle after a long discord between the Mishimas and the Ebiharas. Oh, look at that. They even busted into the black and white. <laughs> black and white for the, for the flashback. <laughs> Mishima made your ancestor Usagi forge the mystic sword, Daikatana, in order to have an advantage in the battle. Is this based on the same game? I never played the original. But it was so hard, it took a long time to achieve it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I probably can be like a... Look at that. That's wild. Here, I'm gonna break out the, my, my deep story voice. Are you ready? Usagi finished the Daikatana enough to be satisfied with its power. Then, Inshiro asked Usagi to hand it over to the Ebiharas. I mean, the sword is as big as the character, so you know. waste no time with the story. Are you, are you going to kill him with the sword? It looks like a buster sword. In order to avoid the disaster when the Mishima got it. And Usagi and Inchiro worked together to defeat Mishima and they sealed the Daikatana under Fujiyama. Sam Bam is here, but then why are we still under complete control of the Mishimas? Because Mishima has found the Daikatana sealed beneath Mount Fuji. This is drama, Sam. This is complete drama. And then he changed history. Changed history? No way. That is the power of the Daikatana. There's a lot of story here. Master, our dojo is being attacked. It's Mishima's Team Ninja. I know Team Ninja. I heard of them. They found this place at last. Okay, guys, I'll leave the fighting to you. <laughs> Wait, I want to fight. Oh, I can jump. Let's go. Yeah, I do appreciate the music. It's actually pretty good. Okay, I guess I can jump. I 
can save the file whenever I want. Okay. And that's my weapon. So thank you, Sam, for coming by. We're playing Game Boy games today. This is the power of the big sword. Push the B button to push things. Okay. What is this? I used up all my resources searching for the Daikatana, but a descendant of the Mishimas. His name is Kage Mishima. Kage got ahead of me. Why is there so much... <laughs> is there so much, like... Is it just a lot of story? Like, so much exposition? I don't understand. I'm glad to see you, Sam. I hope you're, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling alright. I hope your weekend was good. Thank you for coming by. This is crazy for a Game Boy game. I'm not gonna lie. This is wild. I feel like this is Game Boy Ghost of Tsushima. You know what? I think so. But Mishima anticipated my discovering the Daikatana. You doing fine? Wonderful, thank you. I got an ion blaster. Can I shoot it? Can I can I can I shoot it now? He went back and got it immediately. Use A button to jump. Alright. Let's go. Is that armor? Stop talking to me! Let me just play the game! <laughs> I was creating a cure for this awful virus. Yes, there is a cure for the horrible virus that's spreading throughout the world. Oh, thanks, I, I guess. You got an armor. You're trying to get it all together tomorrow. Well, if you're working on your hair, Ange, I want to see it. I, I want to see what you do. Can I, can I press the button? Doors may open by pushing switches. Walk on switches to use them. Alright, I pressed it. Are you serious? I can't. What is this? <laughs> Was this the story of the PC game? Tatsuro worked so hard and finally finished the vaccine, but Kage Mishima stole it by abusing the power of the Daikatana. That means our history was changed by Kage Mishima. We have to defeat Kage and change history back as it should be. Oh, okay. Just twist, nothing exciting. I'm dying to see what combat looks like in this. Me too. I I'm dying to... Oh, here we go. Here, here, yeah, there we go. Just buy on blasters. Now we have to be introspective. No! Uh, hero? Did, did they just die? I have one more favor to ask you. Don't talk. Your wound may open? I know that I'm dying. The virus has torn down my body. Hero, please do me a favor. Please save my daughter Mikiko. She's crept into Mishima's fortress, but she has not come back yet. Please, get into Mishima's Kyoto forest and save her from Kage. But please slump. I got a hologram of Mikiko. Okay. This kind of feels like I'm, I'm watching a... Shouldn't that wound... <laughs> it should be open. Yes, that's right. Obviously. I feel like I'm watching like three ninjas kick back. Like the pacing on this is like really fast. Did we just jump in the water? I landed on the on the bird. Can I switch? Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm gonna switch to my sword. It's kind of like a bootleg Zelda. I mean, even Zelda didn't put that much story to begin with. Like, this is, like, wild. I'm assuming this is water. It looks like water. Has anybody in the chat played Daikatana, like, the, the PC game that this is based off of? Anybody actually played that George Rom Romero joint? Anybody know the source material? I have not played the PC game. This is Mishima's fortress. Why are we so close to- why are our fortresses so close to each other? Mikiko's trapped somewhere inside. Bruh. Ooh. It looks a little- it looks like a little water raft. I thought those birds were gators. Oh that, da oh, that damages you. Okay, never mind. I got a cartridge for Ion Blaster. 
Okay. And what? That's the hologram, I'm, I'm assuming? Die Katana. Did I say George or John? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep saying George Romero. I think I think that's the zombie dude. John Romero. You have played it? Is this? Does this look anything like the original game? It's locked. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, was like was that like the ghost of my ancestor? I mean, this seems like a competent enough game. Like the control is is uh, is responsive. It the platforming is is acceptable. You know, it doesn't seem too bad. They really like throw you into the thick of it. I guess they attempted to give you a good story. Uh, a lot of times, Game Boy games didn't have a whole lot of story on on them. So this one does seem to have a fair amount of like exposition. But like they really they don't they. They cut it down to its bare essentials, right? They don't they don't waste too much time. I have not fed the dogs. This is crazy. Select two switches and push them. Just any two? Uh, that one and that one. I did it. Okay, we got we got ninjas. We got ninjas. Okay. Is there one? Is there like an open world on this game? Is that Bones? We got KTF of Bones in the chat. What's up, man? How are you doing? We're playing classic games. We're playing. We're playing Game Boy games here. Bones is a is my Apex buddy. He plays a lot of Apex and Dead by Daylight. Look at this. Look at this. All right, what is that? I got a capsule. What does that do? Just restore my health. Bones in the chat. I love me some bones. Are we just opening gates or something? Hold on. You can play the next game. I like this game. This game is not bad. It's a little heavy handed on the story, but I think game wise, it seems fine. Bones, we're, we're killing, we're killing future samurais. We're, we're destroying. I'm a samurai, and we're killing cyber ninjas. This is the original cyberpunk game. We're doing it. Wait, was I supposed to do it in order? One, two, three, four. No. Four, three, two, one. No. Three, two, one, four. Four, one, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> okay. We're figuring out how to play this amazing Game Boy game from the future. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't think, I guess this game never came out in America. John Romero is going to be, yeah, that was part of the marketing, absolutely. Doing good here. Come on, man. I have no idea if this is anything like the original game. I'm just telling you now. This was released in Europe and Japan, that is correct. And this was never, this was canceled in America. Yeah, I'm playing a prototype. Push four buttons in the correct order and the door should open. Three, one. I'm not sure the order after that. Okay, fine. Yeah, th this this is labeled as a prototype, so I'm not surprised. That that would explain why uh, I don't remember seeing it in America. And it's a shame because this game actually isn't that bad. I don't think. Three, one, two, four. Hey, we got it. I got another cartridge. How many? How much ammo can I carry on this thing? I guess we'll overwrite the data. Reviewers said it was better than the PC game. <laughs> I believe it. I'm having fun. 
Hey, can you hear me? Are you alright? Who are you? I really don't care who you are. Help me, please. If you do, I can lend you a hand. I can be freed by the access card. When you get the card, insert it into the console of the next room to free me. Look, Ange, he's getting his hair did. He's getting his hair did. You're getting some crowns on, on Death by Daylight. If you haven't followed Bones, please do. He's really fun to watch. And I, like I said, I play Apex with him sometimes. Sometimes we do uh, arenas. It's always a fun time. So if you haven't followed Bones, please give him a follow. This game's wild, man. the gun better? Is there, is there, okay, I killed the dude. Can I like stomp on this? Uh, am I supposed to press on that? Uh, this is actually called the concentration camp. Oh, you're shaking the camera. Stop, stop, stop. I'm supposed to free this dude by hitting a switch somewhere. Uh, here? Can I, like, break into that? I don't... I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Where's the switch? Is that the switch? Stomp on it. Okay. Uh... Well, I guess, uh... I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm sure it's something obvious. Something simple I just haven't figured out. Uh, I'm digging this game. I'm, I'm gonna save my progress on here. And we'll come back to it. Might play it on my own time. Alright, so in, in order to save this, I gotta do. There we go. And then it should reset. Cool. Die Katana is what's up. All right, I'm gonna take a sh I'm gonna take a short break, y'all. Hang out for a little bit. I'm going to. Hey, look at that! I got a host. I got a host. I got a host from Ange. What's good, Ange? Thank you. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a short break. I gotta feed my dogs. They haven't eaten yet. And I'll let you hear some music in the meantime. And then we're gonna load up the next game uh, while I'm away. The question is, what should I play? Uh, I think I'm gonna play. Oh, you guys need to see this game. Okay, this is the game I mentioned before. This game is interesting because it was based on a PC PC game. And it is not... Because of the way the game was designed, it is not possible to beat it on the Game Boy using batteries. Because the way you beat it is by raising your level and the amount of time it takes you to level up in order to actually beat the game it will kill your batteries that you're playing so in order to technically beat the game you have to either play it on an emulator or you have to play it with an AC adapter I think it's this one I'm pretty sure it's this one but anyway we're going to be right back I'm going to run an ad while I'm away and, uh, and then we can pick up on the next game okay we're back okay we're back we're back from outer space this is Dragon Slayer? <laughs> Pretty sure this is it. I think you can fill it up with any name you want. Can I do English letters? I can't. So this is the wrong game. This is not the game I was thinking of. This looks cool though, but this is not the game I'm thinking of. All right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna look this game up. We're gonna find the right one, and I'm gonna show you the correct game that I was thinking of. Yeah, that's what that's what it's called. This must have been a Jap that was probably a Japanese only release of the version of the game. Okay, well let's try it again. <laughs> Clearly that, that wasn't it, because that looks like a composite game. <laughs> if it's not that one, it's probably the other one. Because there were two Dragon Slayers. I guess Dragon Slayer 1. I, 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 that must be it then. It has to be. 
I didn't realize there was a there was a sequel to Dragon's Lair. Anyway, I hope you guys are having fun. This is pretty fun. I'm having I'm having fun reliving my memories here. Is this it? Yeah, this is the one. Oh yeah, this game. All right, so check this check this game out. <laughs> you guys are in for a treat. This music. So you're the dragon slayer. You walk around. You have a house. This is your town. You can save. You can go there and rest up and heal. You pick up coins. You actually have to press the button when you when you land on the coin. Otherwise, you can't pick it up. Now I have some sort of protective thing on me. A ring. A little bit, yeah. And then I think as long as I have that, I can't pick up anything else. You need keys to open up those. If you've ever heard of a game called Yeez, this is a little bit like Yeez, where you don't necessarily attack the enemy. You have to um, run into them, and then you trade blows when you're hitting the enemy at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got some gold. I'm supposed to find a sword. I don't have a sword yet. These little... Uh, Crosses, the enemies can't pass them, so it's kind of like a little safe barrier zone. But you notice, like, he's taking very deliberate steps. Every time you take a step, the rest of the world moves. Like, the rest of the uh, simulation moves. So you take a step, and then every everything else moves. And you take a step, and everything else moves. So you can sort of, like, plan your moves based on where you are at, right? And so yeah, now that I have this ring, I can push blocks out of the way. It's like a strength ring. Ah! I don't have a sword, I don't have a sword, I can't fight. I can't hurt you, leave me alone. These guys are pretty strong. I'm, I'm gonna get wrecked. I've sealed my fate. You can also move your house. <laughs> it's possible to move your house around. Let me get my sword. <laughs> you guys are so brute. You can't open treasure chests until you have a key. level up eventually but you gotta like kill enough enemies the thing about this game is that every time you kill an enemy um, they their enemy type gets removed from the, the world pool of enemies and then the next group of monsters up are re replaced so you're constantly like behind Behind the uh, the level, these guys they just want to just they want to eat my flesh. Clearly, they're jealous of my skin. They're they're supposed to be skeletons. <laughs> Give me the strength ring. No, see my sword and everything else is stuck behind those things. I I can't get to it until they get out of my, out of my way. And so yes, as a child, I spent many an hour running away. <laughs> from these monsters, <laughs> unable to defeat them until I, until I eventually I figure out how to get, like, my, uh, my sword to be able to attack them. Anyway, that's the game in a nutshell. If you look up a video of this game online, it's hilarious, because it's literally just like a dude fast-forwarding on a spot where you can sit there and, like, try to level up as, as much as you can. And, uh, and then eventually you have to fight some three-headed dragon, and then that's how you beat the game. 
not a very good game, in my opinion. But I, I, I guess it's interesting, maybe? <laughs> Warp point. Let me get that sword, baby. Get that sword. Now I've been, I've been knighted. I can attack things now and not die instantly. So they put you in this maze and you gotta figure out how the heck to get out of here and also pick up loot while you're in here too. Oh yeah, monsters can go diagonally. You may have seen that. They can tra traverse diagonally between boxes. Holy crap! Let's run away! No! <laughs> You gotta grab that floating key. This, this this game comes from the school of esoteric, like completely random, like seemingly random. Like this, I I would even go as far as saying that this is like beta beta carotene. No, this is like a beta version of um, like a Dark Souls type game, right? Maybe not as elegant. Maybe not as uh, as interesting. <laughs> But definitely like the same type of thing where they just throw you into a world and you have to kind of figure out how to like traverse it without getting destroyed and mauled by enemies and things, right? Uh, this was of course based on a PC game. This was a port to the Game Boy from the PC. Nihon, Nihon Falcon. I mean, it was interesting at the time. I thought it was intriguing. You know, my child brain was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I'm a knight. I'm killing skeletons. But in retrospect, it's just like, yeah, whatever. Sometimes a dude steals your money, too. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Gotta fight the jellies. Okay, that's too much health. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Let me go back home. I need to rest. Dying. Dying, Squirtle. There is a way to beat this game, and I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Rest up, baby. Drop your coins in the house. You give coins, you get more HP. You see how that works? Now you can survive a little bit longer. As you get some money. It's true what they say. Money solves every problem. <laughs> oh my god, it's Coil Twitchbot. You've made an appearance in my stream. How nice of you. Dropping bits in here. I, I love it. I love it. I love the Coil Twitchbot. Thank you, Coil Twitchbot. I don't know who wrote you, but I do appreciate your, bo your, your, your bits. I think I've had enough of this game. I'm sure most of y'all have had enough of this game too, so I don't blame you. <laughs> Alright, I heard that this was a decent game. I actually don't know what this is about. So we're going to find out together. I'm going to assume it's a regular Game Boy game. And it is called... Quarth. So we'll we'll try this out. I don't actually know what it's what it is, like I said, but you know we're here. We're tr we're trying games out. It's a roulette. We don't know what we're gonna get ourselves into, and hopefully it's something decent. But I have it on good authority that this is a decent game. Oh, it's made by Ultra. This is what Konami's American branch was called before Konami decided just to call themselves Konami. Oh, look at these graphics. Look at these graphics. What is this game? What are we playing? What is this? Is this like a shoot 'em up? Should I play the flying upside down penis? Look at the look at the flying dildo. Got he! Bruh. I guess we're we're playing. We're, 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 I don't know what this is, but we're gonna play it. Have I heard of this game? Why am I a flying dildo? Is this like a puzzle game? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the goal is.
Is this like a shoot 'em up puzzle game? I uh I destroyed myself. Um <laughs> It just sends you back to the title screen. Uh Okay, let's let, maybe let's not play the penis. Make them into even rectangles? Alright, let's try it out. I've actually never played this game before, so I don't know what what it is. Rectangle. Okay, cool. That makes more sense. Rectangle. Then we can make them as big as we want, I guess. Cool. Those kind of remind me of Pez. Y'all ever have Pez before? Uh, are we done? Is that, that, is that it? Oh, there he is. Don't they kind of look like Pez when you, when you shoot him out? <laughs> Whatever happened to Big League Chew? Whatever happened to Big League Chew? Playing Quarth, I guess. We're making rectangles. The coolest thing about Pez is the novelty dispensers. I agree. Those are really cool. Pez was originally created to help people quit smoking. Really? Is that like how Coca Cola originally had Coke in it? Like cocaine to help you with toothaches? Well, unless I'm missing something, this seems pretty simplistic. I think, to answer your question, John, I think they still serve, or they still have Big League Chew, like, in, in Walmart. Alternate Pez treats? Wait, what do you mean? What are you talking about, Willis? I do appreciate the music. Aw. Oh well. I might be in trouble. Oh no. Oh no, I might be in trouble. Okay, so you just use, like, the timing of... The, the time it takes the other one to get destroyed, you use that to, like build combos. Okay, I, I, I understand I, I think what's going on here. That's that's neat, I guess. It's not a game type I've played before. I've played a lot of puzzle games and a lot of shoot 'em ups, but this ain't never played both at the same time. Yeah, just confirmed with an article. The original dispenser was shaped like a lighter. Yeah that makes sense. I, I believe that. I don't I don't know about you Omni, but I'm not a fan of Pez. Like, in general. I think it tastes like chalk. I think most people would agree. It's not great. It's not good candy. Can I, can I does make Pez? Yes, they do. <laughs> that's a, that, was a, that was a pretty good... That was a pretty good one. <laughs> I hate the taste. That's what I'm saying. I would be alternate candy that you could just like load into this pencil. So you just want to have like different candy entirely that's not Pez. I follow what you're saying. Pez is like really chalky. Like super chalky. Now they have they have good flavors. There are some good there are some decent flavors of Pez, but like the majority of them tend to be like I don't know, it's just like uh what's what's an equivalent candy? Pez is like the, the dinner mints of candy. You know what I'm talking about? Those little dinner mints that sort of fall apart in your mouth. You want gum you could load into it? I could see that. 
It's a Tums Festival. <laughs> Every night, it's a Tums Festival. It all just felt like a really cool gun that you couldn't use alternate ammo for. <laughs> you had to use it just like Beretta ammo instead of the Colt 40 action. Pez is a step above that chalky type Valentine Hearts. You know what? I agree. That's what it is. It's it's just chalky. It's chalky Valentine Heart candy. Be my Valentine. Let me give you the worst possible candy to convince you to be my Valentine. You're sure to love me if I gave you some of this stuff. Are we done? Stage over? Is, are we just gonna keep going? Is this it? I, I like the idea. I like the concept. I don't like the gameplay. That's what I have to say about this game. Funny that you can be a flying penis with wings, but that does not sell a game for me. The music's pretty decent too, I think. But the gameplay is not very invigorating. Maybe it's because I'm playing on the easy difficulty or something. I'm sure it gets more interesting the harder it gets, but... How do I how do I beat the stage? <laughs> how do How do I beat it? <laughs> I wonder who worked on this at Konami. I wonder if old Izumi got his hands on this one. Mutsuhiko Izumi. I wonder if this is one of his babies. Did he even work on anything portable? I I doubt it. He seemed like he was more working on ar arcade stuff. I I guess. I keep getting bonus points now. I haven't figured out how to get the, f the fifth uh, rectangle thing. Oh, you can hold up to make it go scroll faster. Oh. You can, you can hit up to make it scroll faster, guys. I guess it's getting faster. He had a hand on the Quartho OC. Yeah. And I wonder if it's a preset scripted shapes procedurally generated. Yeah, I mean, you can hold up to make it scroll faster. Yeah, I, okay, I mean, you know, I, I gave it a chance. I, I, think, I think I'm finished with this game. It's okay. It's not. It's not like mind blowing. Yeah, the music, uh, the music is is okay. the the music The music is entertaining, but I, I think I've had enough. I think I've had enough. Your professor is insane. Um. Uh. I mean, I'm kind of busy, but Norio. Hanzawa, show me, uh, show me the email. Show me the email. <coughs> All right, guys. So check this out. Game Boy, Game Boy had a lot of games on it. Did you know it had Killer Instinct? Fairly rare. It threw in a lot of games that were like on the Super Nintendo and other things into the Game Boy. They made ports. Who knew? Who knew that they made ports? And this is one of them. And I played this game a lot as a kid, and I actually enjoyed it. So, for, <laughs> for the for the sake of uh, fun, we're gonna show you 
how this game looked <laughs> on the Game Boy. So they're not bad. I mean, they're not good, but they're not bad. Let's see, select any character. Select start BA. So, I played this game a lot. I used to play as, uh, used to play as Glaci Glacius. But the real fun was playing as Idol. You can play as Idol. A little bit longer. Do you want me just to read something for you? So the thing about Idol is that all of his moves link into each other, and so literally all you do is just like smash buttons, and everything he does combos. <laughs> you can literally just tap B and A, B and A, B and A for as long as you want, and it counts as a combo. <laughs> so Killer Instinct, the way it works is you have two life bars. Uh, the moment you you just beat them until you lose one life bar, then they stand back up, and then that then their second life bar takes over. So it doesn't cut it with a round. But the music, fairly competent, and actually kind of matches the original. I can't believe I spent time playing this as a kid. I'm just literally pressing buttons, y'all. Like, like, Idol requires no thought whatsoever. He he's busted. He's the last boss, final boss, super busted, and literally just tap buttons and you win. Jago's theme is pretty good. I promise you there's moves, guys. It's <laughs> so stupid. I used to think this was good as a kid, guys. <laughs> He stomps the ground and then it like powers up his his charge. If you hold back and B, he stomps the ground for a little bit, and then he does that move and then it like does a bunch of extra damage. Yeah, it doesn't heal on here. I think I think it's just meant for uh, to power up his move. So yeah, in the arcade game, uh, the combo system was kind of weird, like the button layout was an X, if I remember correctly, and the way that you're supposed to do combos is like moving moving across the buttons in an X pattern. Um, but since this is a two button game on Game Boy, uh, most of the moves were like, you know, A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, and then you move back and forth with it. And so instead of doing like cross moves, you have to go back and forth, back and forth. Um, 
Right, okay, yeah. But yeah, like, because idol, everything links into everything else, you can literally just tap buttons and you'll be fine. Like, it's, it's mindless. That's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Very simplistic. Yeah, I just remember the combo system was like top button, top button, fierce, light button, medium button, fear. Like, so you, you do that for most characters, and that's like a magic combo. It was never close, Omni. It was not close at all. You were mistaken. You were mistaken. C -c 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 Combo breaker. Yeah, the, the game was really loud, and the graphics were very interesting for the time. That's what really caught people's attention back in the day. No other game really looked like it, you know? They tried to approximate it on Game Boy, as you guys can see. Uh, I don't know how successful they were. Oh no. Fulgore. Actually anti-airing me. Am I gonna die? Is it over? Oh, that's right. Fulgore could teleport. I forgot about that. Special thanks to Rare for making a fighting game, even though they apparently never played one. <laughs> Here comes Idol. Don't lose sight of the Idol, but I am. Oh crap. Bro, bro. Look at this fool. Am I dead? Is it over? Oh, now he's getting his health back. I guess you can only get your health back on the second round. He got me, baby! It's over! Thanks, Idol. I'm gonna continue, though. I, I think I have to put the code in again. Yeah, you have to put the code in again. Although that's a really cheap way to see everybody's endings. You can just like cheese your way to idol and then just continue and then pick somebody else to see their ending. You don't actually have to like learn and then, well, you gotta be good enough to be idol, I suppose. <laughs> we both knocked each other out. No, I'm in trouble. Get out of here. See ya. It's like Terminator 2. And please enjoy Idol's ending, which is kind of a joke, actually. He killed his mom. That was the ending. He killed his mom. He killed his mom. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> All right. 
Alright. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, hey. What's up, guys? I see you guys are having a beautiful conversation in there. <laughs> yeah, she she's working on her on her homework. I think hopefully she's got it. Her her you ever deal with a professor that is cryptic? You ask them for help, and they don't actually help you. <laughs> they just sort of say, think about this or think about that. That's what's going on. Uh, okay, so the other game I used to play, we'll play 96. This game was also on Game Boy as well. While this is loading, let me go ahead and read what's going on. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys talked about Clay Fighter. Right, right. Anti airs. He was an experiment. Evil Corporation. Cinder. Glacius is an alien. That is true. Cinder was a human. Ultra check. Dar is in the chat. Welcome, Dar. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jag is one of the cooler. Yep, yep, I agree. Mad hype hearing it in the arcade. I think TJ Combo's song was like the most uh, interesting song for me. Play Final Fantasy Adventure. It's on the list, be kid. Who didn't know KF? What didn't even know? There's codes for this game. Keep tapping select. Keep tapping select. All right, I just unlocked two characters. If you tap select a bunch of times on the Takara screen, you unlock characters. The first time I played this game was on a a 40 and 1. 40 and 1 flash cart that my dad bought when he was in Korea. And I didn't know that KOF was on Game Boy either. And it was amazing. Obviously, this is a very simplified version of the game. Um, don't even think it had all the characters, to be honest with you. And yeah, it's just like randomized. But you got you got a, a size, a fairly sizable roster. And I think the code unlocked uh, Rugal and Nakaruru as characters. I think everybody else was on there normally. It's not bad for Game Boy, for sure. Yeah, you can play as Kenso. They got, you have Hyder and is on here, but they spell it with a J instead of with an H. Kyoryo. I used to play like Terry and Kyo, but I like playing as Nakaru. This one's pretty fun. Google's busted. Uh, Nakaruru. And we'll play, uh, we'll play Kyo, why not? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I don't know why they have the different spelling. The motions are mostly the same. Surprisingly so. And it was fairly playable for a Game Boy game. Got the kicks, baby. Hey, oh hey, what's up, Apathifier? I got the flash card for the GBC. What games do you recommend besides the obvious ones? Well, you're watching me play, so. <laughs> Everything I'm playing tonight on the VOD, definitely recommended. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff on the Game Boy. Get thrown. Yeah, Rugal's a boss character, so he's kind of busted. They kind of have a like a prototypical 
Neo Geo Pocket look. I think the ones with Neo Geo Pocket are more expressive, but like these aren't bad. Why do you guys like, keep blocking all of my stuff? Yeah, the music's the music's interesting, right? Yeah, I, I figured John would appreciate the music because it's all it's all eight bit renditions of the uh, original music. You should play poppin' music, poppin' music's on Game Boy Color. Felt like a, a six I got. <laughs> I forget if she can call her bird. Oh yeah, she can. All right, cool. This one plays okay, but I think 96 played it a little bit better. Also, you can charge your. Uh... Yeah, I forgot about that. You can just press down and yeah, you can charge your your super by pressing a button combination. No. Don't throw me over there, Billy. Gross. <laughs> Alright, Kim. That's not your team. Cop one. Honestly, I don't remember any of the supers. Goodbye. Yeah, just download all download all of them. You can fit like the entire Game Boy uh, library on a like a like two gigabyte SD card. Like it doesn't it's not that big at all. Old Ega, I miss. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kyo. You're getting your butt kicked. The, uh... <laughs> the AI is a little busted sometimes. If <laughs> you might have noticed. <laughs> With the, the corner... <laughs> post. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> They just went to beast mode there. <laughs> but uh, I actually wanted to play the other one. I wanted to play uh, 96. I think it's 96. I think 96 is on here. Um, yeah, that was that was something. That was something. <laughs> yeah, precisely. <laughs> I picked the uh, the other one. All right. So yeah, I guess is it is it under the. I guess it must have been the King of Fighters. Kim is never bad. <laughs> He's never bad. You're right. You know what? I, I should have never doubted. Oh, hey. Hey, Nana. How's, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was that was something else. Got that corner, got that corner combo. <laughs> oh, man. Got the King James Bible on your on your Game Boy. You need Jesus on the go. Dear Lord, indeed. That's what you're going to be saying when you read the Bible on your Game Boy. Is this it? What is this game? Okay, that, that's, that sounds familiar. This must have been like a European version. Yeah, we got a raid? Violent fighting to come again as a year flew by from the excitement... We now declare the opening of our special team tournament. What's up, Dizzy G? Can someone shout out Dizzy G, please? This was the game that was better in my in my mind. I enjoyed this game more.
heat of battle. This may have been the European port. Yeah, this is probably the European port. Okay, I guess I, I guess I got to do it myself. Shout out to Dizzy G. Thank you so much. We're gonna do single play this time. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Karate was the, the secret character. So yeah, you tap you tap uh, select ten times, and I think you unlock Mr. Big and Geese. And then you tap uh, select thirty times, and then you get Mr. Karate. And Mr. Karate was busted. He's so busted he has to take up two character slots. <laughs> You got Chizuru, Athena. Genus was the boss in this game. Is it Genus or Gonitz? I always pronounce it Genus. Krauser's on here. Mature. Get the regulars. They, they slightly changed the... I feel like I like this game a little bit better because I feel like it ran a little bit faster. And they slightly changed some of the um, animations and things. Mr. Crowdy was busted, of course. And even though, I mean, honestly, even though it's like baby, baby uh, sprites and stuff, it's still good. Yeah, Athena's in it. She's in here. Also, this music's good. Let's go. Let's go. Still got it, baby. <laughs> go, go nuts. Go nuts. Yeah, Mr. Cry is busted. I think his other super was a... Uh, was a... Uh, was a big fireball, pretty sure. Get out of here, Yori. We're done with you. I complete. I found these. I think the way that you you find out these uh, character codes is when you beat the game. They tell you what they are, but I actually found these unlock codes by accident. Because I played these games a lot, and I would like tap the buttons when the game was loading because I wanted it to load faster. And I found that after tapping the select button a bunch, it made it made the character unlock. And then I just kept I just kept doing it, and it kept happening. <laughs> There goes a fireball. Quarter circle back, quarter circle forward. Or half circle back, half circle forward, sorry. Yeah, I feel like I felt like 96 was more responsive than than 95 for sure. Because I can I can drop combos. I can put combos in. Not drop combos, I can I can insert combos pretty effortlessly on, on this version when I was having trouble on the previous version. Also, Mr. Karate is busted anyway. He's like a boss character, so... Getting it. Getting it. Sit. Oh, that makes more sense. Daimon. Who are the five hottest rappers in the game right now? Daimon, 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 and Daimon. <laughs> How's it feel now? How's it feel now, computer? <laughs> How does it feel now to get corner carried? Yeah, the, the computer on 95 was relentless. That was... That was I've, I don't remember getting beat that bad before, but I guess it happens. <laughs> I love 8 bit renditions of these songs. It's so cool. Gotta stop pushing buttons on Wake Up. I just like. 
putting empty supers out there because they come out so quickly. The computer says nothing. Can't do nothing. How about that music, y'all? You digging this music? Kugan Karate is invincible. It's Ume if it works, it's random if it doesn't. <laughs> those, those, <laughs> oh yeah, I like the stage. Terry stage is always so cool. It's got the train tracks. Are you okay? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Power Oh no, <laughs> they're doing me a... It's happening again. Oh no. <laughs> they did it to me. They had to do it to me, Terry. <laughs> I actually blocking my super now. His freaking super comes up. I think the way that they distinct, uh, they distinguish between regular and power moves on here is whether or not you press and hold the button when you do the move versus just tapping it. Yeah, if you just tap it, it'll do a slow one. And if you press and hold it, it'll do a, it'll do a fierce. So even though it's technically two buttons, you can still do fierce combos and stuff like that just by pressing, pressing and holding the button versus press, press versus not. Japan or Korean equals godlike read of Western random magic scrub. Who may shore you, baby? Yeah. And honestly, it's kind of a neat way to make a two-button fighter work. You know, you can do you can differentiate your moves by pressing and holding the button versus tapping it. <laughs> Terry over here with a frickin' crack shoots in the corner just destroying me. Get out of here. Yeah, because KOF is a four button game anyway, so it, it works. I mean, you know, for a Game Boy port, it, it's alright. Oh, you just rolled? You can roll in this game. Oh, get out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, they got the skull. I'm sure they got the skull grab. I forget what that move's called. Yeah, if you press down in the two buttons, that charges your super. Almost to the boss. I think Mature was one of like the sub bosses right before the end. If I remember correctly. 
I don't think I fight everybody, but man, maybe I do. It's been a while since I played this game, so I don't remember if it... I don't think you have to fight through everybody, but I could be wrong. press any button you get <laughs> when you press any button it just gets on top of you going wild with the, with the rolls. Meaty. Meaty fireballs. I feel like Sagat now. Fights we got. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. That classic tune. You can see Benny Mario in the background, kind of. You see how he's, this guy right here that's like right behind me, he's got the long hair. <laughs> Nike Swoosh, just do it. Oh, Chizuro, no, no, don't do it to me. No, I'm holding back. Hold back, hold back. <laughs> so stupid. How much health it does. And that was a that was a desperation move because my health was already low. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah, when when your health isn't blinking in the final bit and you do a maximum move, then that powers up your your uh, ultimate. Come back at the century. <laughs> Just a re new random person. Flying across the <laughs> This character's so busted. <laughs> Why is this allowed? Why do they make every KOF game always has ridiculous bosses? It's it's always like this. <laughs> I don't understand why this is allowed. Oh man. I guess we're fighting everybody. Yeah, what's cool about this game is it has short hops, like they implemented short hops, so if you jump up and press down, you can do a short hop. It's really cool, like they, they still manage to get a lot of the, the mechanics of what made what makes KOF KOF. And they got it right, you know, despite it being a, a mobile game. That's why, that's what I, when I saw this on that 40 in one cart, I was like, this game is incredible, how come we can't get this in America? Child abuse. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna call defects on Mr. Karate. Stop beating your child up. <laughs> Spoiler, Kayla spoilers for those in the chat. Mr. Karate is not who he seems. Although in this game, it's kind of like they basically use the same, the same sprite as Rio. They just put a Tengu mask. Art of Fighting Spoilers? Yeah, that's true. Mr. 
Master Karate is Ryu's sprite just with a Tengu mask on. Yeah, I guess we're fighting everybody. Oh well. The knockdown lasts so long. You can get your super, like, in two seconds. It's dumb. Ooh, that would have been really devastating. Got him. <laughs> it was so strong and delayed. Yeah, he's, he's basically a Super Saiyan. He's essentially a Super Saiyan. Goku, Super Saiyan, Goku Black, Goku, Super Saiyan Blue, or God Super Saiyan. Yeah, this game has super jumps. It has short hops. It's it's really cool. It's 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 cool how much. They've really pulled from the original source material. You got rolls, you can roll. You got guards, bros. Got some Oki on there. Well, maybe not Oki, but meaty, meaty wake up games. It's a fairly competent fighter. Krauser. Oh yeah, everybody knows this song. This gameplay is on, on uh, versus mode. I'd be interested in testing that out. This man never stood a chance. He never stood a chance. <laughs> Why do you even try? I would do it. I'd be down. I would play this game. I think the only reason why I would play 95 was because it had different stages, and I wanted to play. I wanted to try different stages because they did the, the amount of stages they did on this game. They did it for team. They didn't do it necessarily for every character and every individual character, but the teams got their own like themed stages. So like all the Bogards, they get the train tracks. You know, they they, they sort of. I think even Robert and uh, and what's his face. Rio are also on the train tax stage. And then this one has like Iori, uh, Iori and Kyo and a few others. And then all the bosses have their own stage. So it's like it's like a total of like six or seven stages total maybe, I think. Or maybe even less than that. I'm trying to remember if like the bosses have their own stages. But yeah, you could play Nakaruru on 95 and also the fact that it had different stage variety. Just keep throwing out fireballs. Just keep throwing them out. 
Who cares? There, are, there weren't as many stages as there were teams. Yeah. yeah. I guess we're fighting everybody. Oh, here goes Athena, whoever was asking. Cycle ball. Here goes the cycle ball. You're not going to hit me with that. <laughs> so good. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> this is so stupid. Why does this work? Uh, my goodness. up, go home. I'm surprised I still have all this, like, reactionary memory still. From... It's been, guys, it's been, like, 20 plus years since I played this game last time. And I still remember how to exploit the AI. That's wild. Hey, it's Mr. Big. He's technically a boss. Art of Fighting boss, right? I think he was first an Art of Fighting boss, and then they brought him back to KOF at least a few times. I haven't seen him lately, though. I still have a few more games I want to show you all before I, uh, before I end it. So, once we finish this, we'll, we'll speed around a couple more games just to get through them. I just wanted to play the, the most notable... Oh my god, oh my god! You can't just smack me with those, those big old stick of yours. Sorry if, if the flashing is affecting y'all. I, I just realized that the game's like flashing like insanely on on your end, and it might be a little bright. So I apologize if I guess consider this a seizure warning, even though it's a little bit too late. <laughs> just running a train on all these people. I got a few more left. Let's go, geese. that soy sauce, baby. <laughs> you cannot escape from this. Well, you can imagine, if you were playing this like on a, on a DMG Game Boy with uh, the dot matrix display, the flashes would probably not be as uh, impactful, right? Because it's just this... It would just be the dot matrix is turning, blinking on and off. The fact that I'm playing this like on an actual TV with flashes would probably make it appear a lot more um, a lot more uh, distinct and perhaps seizure inducing. It wouldn't have the same effect you know what I mean? Like On a, on a real screen it has a more I, I would assume it has a more profound effect. What are you doing? Stop moving. Stop it. Oh you can? I didn't even know that. I didn't, I didn't know that was, that was an option. Wasn't aware of that. Uh oh. Ah, see, they just 
just roll through the through the super. This is the reason why I don't I do my other move way more. Yeah, see, so just he just rolls through it. Just keep rolling through it. I should try throwing him out of the roll. More left. You gotta fight my. They really kept my to the last fight, huh? My is not a boss. <laughs> she might be a bunch of people's favorite characters, but she's not a boss. Oh, dang! They certainly tried. Angry bees. Oh no! Block, block, block! <laughs> oh, it's over now. You put me in... Yeah... Yeah, that's not fair. You put me in the... You put me in the blinking life mode. That was your fault, Mai. I don't make the rules. The other, the other impressive thing that they did was um, they reserved the noise channel, which, would, which which you would normally hear for drums, just for the sound effects. And they managed to make the soundtrack still sound good with the other two sound channels. Like that in itself is a feat, because a lot of times these fighting games, what happens is they'll they'll uh, they'll get like all sorts of like chopped up sound effects soundtracks because they're trying to do too much on the sound channels and it will mess with the with the music you know but they managed to like separate that that aspect of the music so you can still hear music even though you got all these sound effects going off congratulations right yeah it's like it's like a slight snare drum that was an impressive match way to kick that dog in half <laughs> my name is Kagura Chizuru I am the organizer of this tournament I wish to see the one who had the strength enough to defeat Ruble. We do strength one game we both play. And now I wish to see your true strength. Logan, that was a good shot. <laughs> I shall be disappointed if the strength you display during the tournament. Stop, stop. You're not answering my question. I'm about to see the ending of this crazy game. Have you never seen King well, of Fighters I'm on asking, Game Boy? I'm ask you a question. We're playing King of Fighters on the Game Boy. Can I ask you a question? Question, baby. I mean, not on the Game Boy, but you can certainly try a game. I have a game for you to play. Oh no! Oh, I gotta beat this game. This is the last. This is the last boss. What are you doing? Seal on stop. Oh no, yeah, this is boss Chizuru. This is the boss version of Chizuru. Which is why she's called Kagura. <laughs> I forget what the requirements are for fighting Mr. Karate. I guess if you don't continue, maybe? I believe that's what it is. Yo! Hello! She did like the dual move. Look at her. Look at her! And she grabbed me? Uh oh. Uh oh. I should probably roll, right? <laughs> oh, it wasn't a it wasn't a desperation move. Alright, that's fine. Let's go. Say it again. Say it again, Mr. Karate. 
Say it again. Why, Rugal? Why? Rugal tried to steal the power of the Orochi, but failed. Tournament world. <laughs> Tournament world. The Orochi's power is locked away, and I am its keeper. <laughs> release it? <laughs> Rugal simply stole the power once it was released, as it were. I don't know why you want to fight us. I mean, you mean me? Why you want to fight me? I organize a tournament to see your true powers. Alright, cool. Does that mean uh, we get a different ending? What for? I want you to use your power to contain the Orochi power once more. Okay. There is no time to lose. I can see by signs. He has already come. He has already come, Seelong. Are you ready? Yes. The man who released the Orochi power. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Goku. Ah, uh, that's me yelling. So we meet at last. Who are you? I am. I am. <laughs> I am the one who rules over nature. <laughs> uh, but it all ends here. I'll let you decide. Would you rather give up now or fight a hopeless battle? Either way, you're going to die. I'm not going to die. I mean, I might. It's not over yet. We're going to fight and win. Just me. M mostly me. Man committed a sin. The same sin, the beginning of mankind! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Blocks, son. Oh, Goku Disco. Whoa. Well, he's he unleashed the power of the Orochi, so it makes sense. I'm surprised he hasn't been fighting. My Kyokugan Karate is invincible, see long. Look, I surprised me. He underestimated my strength. He, he just died. Look at him. But there's no way you can contain the Orochi power, okay? Your powers are not great enough. Withdraw now while you're still alive. We'll defeat the Orochi power. I do appreciate the art style. Even though it's like chibi-ish. The time has come for me to leave. Goodbye. 
running away. Nah, dog. I'm being called. Peace out, bro. Thank you all. He is gone. <laughs> okay, I guess we don't fight Mr. Karate then. We shall meet again then. Alright, neat. Alright, cool, that's it. No more KOF. Let me let us remove this from the list. So yeah, that was King of Fighters. And we also play we also played Killer Instinct. Let me get that. Okay. Well, there's a game that I want my wife to play if she wants to play. Do you still want to play it? Do you want to try it? This is another puzzle-ish type game, but I like this one because it has a really cute. This this has a really cute art style, and it also like most games on Game Boy, it has good music. Do you want to play or not? What are you doing? Can I can I can I skip this? I can't skip this, can I? Studio PJ. I don't know who Studio PJ is, but they did a great job on converting the music. I wonder if they still exist. It, the artwork was designed by the design office. <laughs> the design office. It's kind of interesting that they actually put the, the real people's names. On this, I would have expected them to like. Oh, look at that! Look at that special character on the Nori Hero. SNK All Staff. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, Takara. Yeah, I hope you guys are appreciating this. This is uh, several years of my life condensed into a, a short stream. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is where it tells you about the code, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it tells you, press the select button three times when the Takara logo is displayed to be able to play as Gainets. Nice. If I knew this was for Game Boy back then, I'd probably be playing this all the time. Yeah, I, I definitely played it a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. No, I played King of Fighters. Because my dad, I, I said the story earlier, my dad went to Korea. Remember when he went to Korea? He brought back a cart that had like 40 games on it, and they were all Game Boy games. And uh, it had King of Fighters 95, 96. It had Dragon Slayer, but nobody likes that game. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. Good times. All right. The reason why this is formatted the way it is is because apparently I copied this to my SD card incorrectly, and so now I'm paying for it. Um, where is the game? Cat Trap. This is it. This is the one I want you to try. You played Cat Trap? No, different game. Try it out. This is Cat Trap. It's only two buttons, B and A. And then you you move the D pad around. You have to you have to hit push button. <laughs> this this game kind of reminded me of like uh, hit the start button I think or the A or the B button. Yeah. So you gotta solve the puzzle. He's a monster. Press a button. Press the other button. Press, uh, press down. What the heck? There you go. You got it. And then do that one in too. Got him! So, you gotta punch him. So this is kind of like, yes, it is like a furry alert. Yes. <laughs> but this game, you play as the you play as the cats, and then you have to solve the puzzles, and you have to defeat all the enemies. And this song randomly gets caught in my psyche. What was cool about it is you can reverse. Like if you mess up, you can press a button and it like sends you back. It's kind of like Braid. You guys remember Braid? 
the game that don't make no sense. The game that Soldier Boy said that don't make no sense. <laughs> this is this is braid before braid. So if you if you mess up and fall down uh, into like a pit and you can't get out, you can press a button to rewind yourself out of the pit. This was another game that was on that 40 and one cart that I played a lot of. What year the time did uh the, the no no you have to you have to figure out how to make a pathway to get to him so you can bop him. I think you can climb on that ladder if you yeah if you climb onto the ladder you can climb on you can jump up. This game don't make no sense. So yeah, what you're seeing is the inspiration for Braid, y'all. This is this was a prototype Braid on the Game Boy. When you jump over once, hit up. Like, jump onto that ladder and then hit up. Will it let you do it? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Yeah, you have to like, you have to hold up. You have to hold up when you jump on it. So you, you go right and then hold up. Also, the music was very, no, you can't do that because then you can't push the other, the other one. So you gotta push the one on the, the ground first and then you push that one. But yeah, this this was a lot of fun. Uh, this is kind of similar to da the Daily and Opus, except this is actually a platformer, and you're solving puzzles as a as a platformer. And it's uh, you don't have to worry about getting bopped by the enemies because you play at your own pace, and you gotta solve the puzzle with your intuitiveness. You do the bopping. <laughs> Bop at your own pace. I don't know if this game ever had a, another sequel or another port, but I really liked it. Get right. What you call that when you randomly get like random memories from your childhood? I'm sure there's a term for it. Where like something, maybe it's it's like an LSD trip or something. Keep going all the way left, and then you can go kill it. But yeah, like I said, I I sometimes dream of this song, which is wild to think. you get to hear it in your in your your dreams for the rest of your life Let's see, we'll mark this one off of course of course there is no sequel that's sad I would have played another cat trap game Apparently it was a computer game in 1985 and released in 1990 for the Game Boy. You know, there's a, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of games like that, huh? <laughs> there's certainly a lot of games that were like PC ports first. Uh, can you push? Oh, I know it. Push it twice to the right, and then use the ladder to go underneath it. Push it one more time, and then ladder down. And then you can push that the other one the other way. So you have to like go under the ladder, go around, and then push it this way. Yeah, the Dragon Slayer, which we played earlier, was also a PC port. It just they didn't think it through when they made it. You're smart, you got it. You're solving it. Tetris, Tet yeah, Tetris was originally a, a computer game that some dude made. Some dude, I said. <laughs> Pahitnov, excuse me. Alexei Pahitnov. Made in his free time. I think the reason why the Tetris on Game Boy was so uh, important was because so many people had a Game Boy. Like, 
like that that's like critical exposure, you know? Get wrecked. Hello. You know what you're doing. Gotta beat the mummies, baby. I think they introduce uh, different characters a little bit later on. Different monsters that do different things. So you go under the ladder. Yeah, yeah. Go under. Then clear out all that sand. Really? Okay, and then drop it. Drop the rock. And then jump on top of it. Yeah. And then that way you can now move it over to the right. This game don't make no sense. <laughs> this is a game where you reverse time. This game don't make no sense. <laughs> uh, new enemy, new enemy type. New enemy dropped. I think he just stays floating. He's a ghost. So he doesn't drop like the, the mummies do. Get bopped. I got the power of furries on my side. So once you make that sand drop, it's gonna make the rocks drop. Eyebrows? <laughs> Is it because of the eyebrows? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh, what? How do you do that? Okay, wait. Uh, I guess reverse it. Yeah, I guess reverse it all the way and see. This is a tough one. We should probably see what's on the right side. <clears throat> if you can get on the right side. Is there anything there except for a ladder? I'll do it before I did. <laughs> See, it's fun. I play this game a lot too. I don't think I ever beat this one. I think it, maybe I got like in the third, the round, the thirtieth rounds, thirtieth round as a kid. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing the ending for this one, but I did remember enjoying it. I appreciate you hanging out, Bernie. I don't think I've uh, said hi to you uh, officially, but thank you for coming in here. <laughs> you have a Game Boy connoisseur in the house. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, you should probably hit that. No, no, no. Go back, go back. And then go to the right. Avoid the sand. Don't break the sand. But kick that rock over so you can kill that one. And then you should be able to... Tricky. How do you do that? 
do that one. Uh, can you push the rock that you're standing on over? Does it move? No. Okay. How do you do that one? Oh, maybe you push it? No. Because then how do you... How do you get it? Huh. You can't kick that one, huh? <laughs> you can kick that one. Yeah, I, th I think you have to kill that, that one first. Before you can kill the other one. to kick that one to the right. There's no way you can't not kick that one to the right. Can you go down the stairs? You still can't you still can't kick it to the right though, right? We'll let you do it. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh yes. Okay, so go up the second floor. And then drop that one. Drop the rock over. Yeah. And then do the same with the other one. Kill that guy. And then now you should be able to drop the rock into the hole to the left. And then you can get the other one. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah, I, I knew we were missing a step, I just couldn't. Forgot, I forgot about the sand. Take them out one at a time, like how you were doing. Oh, yes, stuck. You have to, you have to take them out, like one at a time. Like how you were doing one at a time. Yeah, perfect. Take out all those dudes, and then you should be able to go right, and then right again, right again, and then kick it out. All right, I'm set up in the basement to do some grinding. I'm about to put in the password. I'll let you know when. <laughs> Beautiful. That's gonna be great. Oh, this is when it starts to get crazy. Yeah, I remember this stage. This is nuts. Yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Jayhan is playing Dragon Quest 2. Oh. And Dragon Quest 2, Japanese version, not Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest 2. And he, uh, they didn't have battery saving on that card. So in order to play, you have to put in a password. And the password is like a super long ser series of <coughs> characters, Japanese characters. And the more items and things you get and the more progress you get, you make the longer your password becomes. <laughs> and so he has, he has like literal, a, a literal notebook 
for the express purpose of uh, putting in passwords. It's great. At the very least, they give you a really nice uh, background music to insert, insert your password while you play. Oh, I know what to do. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. You gotta climb over it. Like, yeah, and then go down on the ladder and then go around. And then you should be able to, like, push it. I think. Will that work? And then you, you go right. No, no, you're right, you're right. That's it. And then you just go right. And you can climb back up again. You see? You see now? Omni, are you still in the chat? <laughs> I just read your comment about Idol. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what happened. That that's what happens. You're gonna have to check the VOD later to see what I missed. You're very late. Well, hey, at least you made it. We played a lot of games tonight. <clears throat> that took a minute, man. Golly. Uh, push right. Yeah. 50 characters and you're at 47. Holy crap, Silen, how are we supposed to do this one? Can you push right? You can't push right, can you? Uh -huh. Alright, yeah, you're gonna have to go back. You might have to kill this guy first, the guy on the left side. <clears throat> you're pretty close to the character Max, John. That's wild. When you kill Idol, or when you, when you win as Idol, he destroys his bomb. You did it! How cool are you? Yeah, I think this around this time is when I started like my kid brain couldn't keep up with the, the puzzles. <clears throat> I guess you could yeah, drop the sand maybe and then Yep, okay, you got it. How do you get up there? You might want to kick. No, no, go back, go back. You might want to... What the heck? You might want to kick that rock over. So you got the ladder, turn around. But then, what do you do with it? You can kick that, the one on the bottom over? And then... Uh... Then climb up the ladder? No, no, climb up the ladder. Go, go in reverse. Uh, reverse a little bit more. Alright, you, you can kick that one. Can you climb up the ladder and then go up and around it? And then drop on it and then go this way? No, no, the other way. Like on top of the rock. And then go, go on the right side. And then maybe push it over and see if question is how can you I need to get back up. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Time to hydrate? We can hydrate. We can do that. Yas. Thank you, Lurch Moop. <coughs> yeah, this is a tough one. Because I think what they want you to do is they want you to go, like, go up and around, and then, and then push so that you can climb over that one. How are you doing, Lurch Moop? Hope you're doing well. You done? <coughs> Let's restart it. <clears throat> First, let's see what's over here. Oh, they just put the sand there to be like, yo, this is sand. Okay, so, can't kill this one without doing this, so that one has to go. That makes sense. This one you can't kick. 
step a couple more steps the question is how do I get over there oh yeah I see I think push that one all the way and then yeah I was, I was thinking we had to push that other rock all the way but I guess not <laughs> we just have to get, we just have to push those two away. You see and you just go over all the way around. Wait, hold on. No, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> was there sand up there? There was sand there. What in the world do you want from me? <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll use the left one. I think you're right. That's it. That was it. That was it. I just had to move this one over. You're right. And then... Keep that one there. And then that should be enough. Yep. Okay, that was it. We got it. We were just overthinking it. We were overthinking it. It's okay. We solved it. Nightman Flock with the solve in the chat. Let's go. Trying to move too many rocks. We were just fine. Let me put the output password. All right, everybody, remember this password, okay? This is the password. Are you ready? That's the password. That's the password, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save the state here because we're gonna pick this up later, I think. We can play as a girl. Remember the password. I think the girl is just there to have a different song. If you get bored of the other song. So cute. Yeah, this stage. I remember this mess. <laughs> okay. Uh, this was a, this was a tough one. Oh man. Hmm. Okay. So. I guess we'll kick that one over, and then kick that one over, and then we'll walk here, no fall. Now we gotta solve, solve this one. You can't kick that one, right? You can kick 
that one. And you can definitely kick that one. And then you can kick that one. One minute flat, baby. So cute. Alright. This is the password. This is the real password now. Remember this password. Don't forget this password. It's very important. Alright, we can uh switch it up. We'll play a different game. I know how long I've been streaming. Alright, I got let's see. Which one is the last one that I really wanted to show y'all? We still have a handful of other games. Oh. <laughs> you should ask your peers to remember. <laughs> I'm sure they'll really appreciate that, John. Okay, well, I did get a request for f the legend, the Final Fantasy legend, so which one should I play? Who, whoever's left in the chat, we got Final Fantasy legend 1, 2, and 3. Which which shall be played? We can play that, and then we, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll call it after that one. The Saga Games. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, I could show one, but I think one is the most simplistic, right? And uh, Nightman basically said it, two and three are better than one. You know, I'm down for doing three. I haven't played three since the very first time I played it. So I'm I'm willing to start a game on three. So we'll, let, let's do three potentially. And I may actually finish three because I wanted to play three again. This is a good excuse. So... Let's let's do that. Now, the question I have. I never actually finished. I got stuck and couldn't figure out what to do on, on part. What? You never finished one? One is like the simplest one. Let me tell you, Nightman. I, uh, I wrote my own guide for that game. As I was growing up, I, <laughs> I, I actually played, played the game. <laughs> And I and I had a notebook and I wrote it in the style of like a game facts guide so that anybody who would find my 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 ring binder could beat the game on their own. <clears throat> I think you'll enjoy them. I, I know the saga games are a lot of fun for me. And if you've never played them, if you've never played Final Fantasy Legend, then uh, I think you'll enjoy them a lot. Uh, I'm going to assume that the last one in the list is the one I want to play. I think it was fighting the dragon in the room full of orbs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that one was a little tricky. Uh, that puzzle, basically, you walk into a room and there's a vertical line of orbs. You walk into another room and there's a horizontal line of orbs. And then the final room that's completely filled with orbs, you're, you're supposed to superimpose the two lines. And so where the two lines meet is the correct orb. And then when you touch that orb, that's what starts the boss fight. Yeah, I I could understand people missing that cue, but yeah, that's basically that's basically what they wanted you to do. Cool thing about this card, I don't know if you guys just saw that. Uh, this game or this this card will tell you the header of the ROM that it's loading, and a lot of times, even though these games get uh, translated and they get they get uh, English versions or whatever. They still sometimes have the original, like, Japanese spelling of the header. So you might have seen the header of this ROM actually said Saga, despite the game being called Final Fantasy Legend. Like, they didn't go out of their way to change uh, the name of the header on the Game Boy. So I, I picked the wrong one. So let's... Uh... For example, another good one is Mole Mania. I played Mole Mania on a previous stream. Uh... But that one, you, the way you say mole in Japanese is mogu, and the header is like mogu and a, and a bunch of numbers, which I thought was really cool. Uh, all right, well, maybe this is number three. But yeah, let, let's watch the header of this one when it gets written. I also appreciate like how the cart writes to the, the game in hexadecimal. Yeah, mogura, right, right. Check out the header. Check out the header in the bottom left corner. It'll probably say Saga something. Yep, <laughs> that's that's cool. So yeah, it keeps the same header as the as the previous game, or as the original game, I should say. Let's go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've, I've been wanting to play this game again. I really liked what they did with this version of the game. This was the most RPG-like out of all the uh, Saga games on Game Boy. And this one had a world uh, filled with uh, Norse mythology. There's like You have to fight Fenrir on this one. Valhalla is a concept on this in this one. It was really cool. And like as a kid, I thought that was like fantastic. Like the way that they melted that corner of mythology into the video game. However, a few individuals prepare for a journey that may determine the fate of the world. Uh, yes, but you fight Fenrir in this game. Fenrir is like a bald, not a bald, a blind wolf boss with like four arms. And they have other uh, versions of those types of Norse gods that you actually fight in this game. And then, uh, also, this game had time travel because that was all the rage back then. You find you find a ship kind of like the Epoch. It's kind of like Chrono Trigger a little bit. <laughs> a, a little bit. Arthur, my name is Cyber. Thank you. Thank you. His name is not Curtis. Is that, what, what are you doing? What are you? Did I just hit the wrong button? Did I just hit the wrong button? I did. Let's go. Let's go. Let's pick the right names this time, please. Thank you. We should. We should be the boy called. Well, since you're in chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Jahan. I'm gonna call Jahan Curtis. It's gonna be you, man. It's gonna be you. We'll just do Jahan. We got girl. I can probably fit C long in here, right? I can fit C long in here. Can I do it? I can do it. I can't do a hyphen though. But I can type in C long. And my he my heroine Sharon. Uh, who shall the heroine be? You call Poco the heroine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Poco's my dog, so we just named the character after, after my dog. <laughs> Do we have anything? Just got weapons. Do you have any talents? Myron, I remember Myron. It's been years since I've heard his name. certainly improved the music a lot. But this was different because you can actually see your characters, right? Whoa! Are we getting down? We're getting down. Get the diviner. Oh, you're strong against fire. Okay, fine. Let's hit you with the battle axe. You're not strong against ice, though. Let's go. That might be the last time we all use the simulator. I'll say goodbye right now. Okay, see you. Thanks, Myron. Not much. We are uh, wrapping up the stream, I think. Uh, we're getting to the end. We played a lot of Game Boy games today. A lot. I think we hit about 10 today. Probably more. Don't worry. You'll see me off tomorrow, right? I've got to go. <laughs> yeah, we played a ton, but I think we're at the point now where we gotta we got to end it, so. I'll miss you. Bye, Poco. <laughs> Next day. We're all ready now. Good. Where's Poco? <laughs> I called her my dog. I guess it's too hard on her to see you off. I'll miss my dog. Thank you, Ty. I appreciate you, man. Let me tell you about the Borgen. The man who sent you back to me. Morgan sent us back from the future. Morgan, where are the kids going? To the past. Past? Quaser's time machine isn't finished yet. I have no choice. Changing the past is the only way to save the world from sinking. You're mad! And that's, <laughs> and that's how you came back from the future. Morgan's plan won't work if the future's already destroyed. Still wish to go. 
Yes, we three decided that we can't close our eyes to our own future. Well said. And see this. Come. Where are we going? Yeah, it's been a long time since I played this. This is the game I played the least of the original three. When the games originally came out, I did not purchase them right away. I was probably like six or something. But eventually my dad bought me a Game Boy for one of my birth. I think maybe for my Christmas. It was one of the... the clear it was the big boys, but it was a clear one. It was the one with the clear plastic. And uh, he bought me Final Fantasy Legend 1 because Sunsoft, I believe it was, had just done a reprint of the original three games in the trilogy. And so I would always see the games in magazines like Nintendo Power and stuff and say, I want to play Final Fantasy. Because I had I had heard about Final Fantasy, but I never really played it. I didn't know it was about... I didn't know it was Saga. I didn't know it was a Saga game. I would learn that like much later. But I just saw Final Fantasy and I thought, hey, that's cool. And so when they did the re-releases, that's when I picked all of them up. I picked one, two, and three, just back to back. I played one the most because because that's the one I had first. I played two a bunch of times, and I, and I appreciated two, especially like the final theme. But three was by the time I bought three, it was the one I played the least because I, I basically played it from start to finish. I appreciated it for what it was, but I didn't really go back and do it again, you know. Five years ago, wow, yeah, I mean, not surprising, you know. That's what that was back when Square was doing whatever <laughs> to, to get these games out there. So, like, I, I did appreciate 3. I just never I, I just never went back and did it, you know. But 1, I played it. I, for some reason, I played 1 a ton. Because back then, when you had a game, you played it to death. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to make it safe so you can play outside. Be good. We'll see you later. Really? I promise. I don't have the first three Saga games yet in my collection. Well, you could... You know, you have a Switch, right? You can, uh... If you have a Switch, they have a collection. They have the, the, the 1, 2, and 3 on Switch. I mean, unless, of course, you absolutely have to own the original cards. But the Switch one is, uh, the Switch ones are good. And they come, you can play them in Japanese. You don't have to play them in English. You're still supporting the publisher at that point. I told you not to leave the city. I know, but we're worried. We all grew up together. And Pogo's elder knows what he's doing. But... I'll guard the city. At least let her go. Hmm, alright. You should both go. You won't regret this. Thank you, Elder. Poco joined. Ready? Let's go back. Yeah, Myron was busted. I remember using Myron to, like, just defeat everybody. Let's get on the Epoch. <laughs> I mean, the Talon. <laughs> A fighter that can travel through time. Then we're off to the future? No, it's useless now. Take this to Kronos and Elan. He knows a lot about the talent. Get that radar, baby. What's this? Morgan had it. Might be a missing unit. Let Kronos see it. Right. Hey, the ocean's between here and Elan. Find floats in North Tower. You can fly that. Yeah, Saga 2 introduced Magi, which were essentially Materia. And then this game really leaned into the Magi, where you could like get magical powers and stuff from those. I, th I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> we did it. We made it. All right, I think I gotta save the game here. Anyway, we uh, we've we've done it. We got good life. We're we're a crew. We got a radar. You are now in the present. Units left are three. So yeah, it's a pretty basic game. I, I might play this. I might play this all the way again, just just to do it. I don't want to play all three of them, but I I would not be opposed to playing three again, just because it's been it's the only one I played. You know, I played it once essentially. Let me at least get to the town, fight a few battles. Yeah, Myron's busted, man. Having five people on a team with his magic. Spoilers, you lose Myron eventually. <laughs> but he, uh, you can keep him for a while and like blast through these enemies and level up a bunch <coughs> before before he has to go away. <coughs> he doesn't take damage either. Like, or he, if he does take damage, it's very little. Yo, 
also happens to be like the strongest character on our team right now. I did, I don't know if I ever told you, John, but I played the, um, the Wonderswan version of this game, which was in color. And I was going to say, I, I'd recommend you play that. I mean, you have a Wonderswan. You can play it in color. And in, they had a Japanese to English patch. Oh, what? You can't just kill Seelong. What's wrong with you? It's ridiculous. They, the bird just, like, ate you. No backlight. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I played the patch and it was cool. I enjoyed it. I didn't realize it was gonna kill him. Well, never mind. I'm just saying, I did that and it was cool. It was cool seeing everything in color. The graphic style was essentially the same as the Game Boy version. It just made everything super colorful. Time to check my posture. You know what? I should do that. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. We have to revive you. You were killed. You were killed by a bird. You were killed by a bird. Can, can I revive? Alright, now, now you're fine. Now you're alive. Yeah, just jump over here. I'm not gonna be playing for much longer. I think, I think I'm. I think I'm done after this game. We played a lot of the, a lot of my childhood already. So. Oh, it's just a T-shirt. I think she needs just like one more battle to be able to like get a level up. So let's try that. That's why they gave you. That's why they gave you Myron. He's the man. Keep him in your party for a bit, level up, grind, and you never have to worry about dying. At least level up your dudes a few times. The problem is they give you, like, yeah, like, they give you battles with, like, five, five people in them, so it's like, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> Sprite. With the battle axe. I feel like my my resolution is slightly funky on the I'm looking at the game on the screen and I'm looking at the stream capture. It looks like it's, it looks like it's a little stretch. It should be the native resolution, but it could just be uh, I don't know. Looks thinner on the screen. I should verify it. There we go. <clears throat> Give me some meat. Eat the meat. Now I'm a bee spider, baby. Look at me, I'm Spider Man. I'm Spider Man. <laughs> Everybody can turn into monsters. I didn't want to turn into a monster, but I did it. I forgot about that. I didn't know uh, that you just turned anybody into a monster. I guess, I, guess, uh, I guess that's my life now. I guess I'm a monster. I turned myself into Spider-Man. Now I got two swords. It hit two times. Power comes two swords. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Also, the the money they give you in those early battles is wild, like hundreds and hundreds of gold. It's not like Dragon Quest, where the, Dragon Quest, where they give you like two gold for fighting five enemies at the start. <laughs> also, the other thing I appreciate about this is that the cost of the stay is equivalent to how much HP you're down. 
so it's not like a set price. It's like it's whatever whatever HP you've lost. It's just they give you so much freaking money at the start. It's like yeah, you can, you can do that. Well, that's true. <laughs> right, I'm gonna save the game. Yes. Okay, and I have to. In order to save this, I gotta click the button on this cart. All right. I think we're good. It should save. Reset, baby. All right, well, that's been the majority of my childhood in a neat little stream covering a lot of the high points of games that I used to spend a lot of time playing. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do a quick check to make sure. I mean, I could play something like Mario Land, but I think everybody's seen Mario Land at this point. Mario Land 2, on the other hand, that is a pretty good game. But Mario Land 1, I mean, you know, I don't think anybody cares. People have seen that game a million times. Um, let's see what we got. The rest have been, like, things that people recommend that I play. Oh, 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 oh. There is one game. Hold on. I don't know if this game is good. Uh... But I remember playing it a lot. Not Pokemon. <clears throat> uh, oh, bro! I bet you. I bet you it has a different name. Okay, I bet you it's like. Is it under that? I'm. I, I think it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah the, the the Mega Man games on here are also pretty good too. By the way. Yeah, it's got it, baby. I don't know which one. Uh, we're going to play this one. So there was a movie tie-in game. A movie tie-in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game. Some of them. Some of them. Some of, some of the Mega Mans. Not, not all of the Mega Mans. Some, only some of them. This was a game that my parents bought for me. Uh, I forget. I think I had good grades or something. But I played this game a lot. I played it a lot. It was great. I don't know if it was good. But I definitely played it. Oh, yeah. I remember this. <laughs> and I remember thinking this was the coolest thing ever. This is a PAL ROM. I picked the wrong one. I picked the wrong one. You can tell because the color's all whack. I had Ivan Ooze. All right, let's 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 pick the right version of this ROM. That was not the right one. <laughs> oh, no, not the save directory. We don't want to go to the save directory. Okay, Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin, Mighty Morphin, yeah. Uh, oh wait, I went too far. Shoot. The way that this thing works in terms of like looking through the menus is a little clunky, but it works the way I, you know, it does what I want it to do. So, all right, we'll try it again. This one. Man, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie came out that long ago to have a Game Boy tie-in. It certainly did. <clears throat> Ivan Ooze was a boss. You picked which bosses you wanted to fight and in what order. And then you fight Ivan Ooze. <laughs> but you had to go through a level. And you pick which ranger you want to fight with. And it, well, it had a SNES time, but it also had a Game Boy one, as clearly as you've seen. Oh, I guess it's two different movies. Huh. Two of them. This one was a TV show. Oh my God, look at Zach. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong with their faces? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, what happened to them? <laughs> oh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> what did they do to you, Zach? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I mean, honestly, Jason's not better. <laughs> it really looks like, oh God. <laughs> 
guys know that that weird Japanese like bird sculpture thing? This, that's kind of what Kimberly looks like. You know, you, you guys know what I'm talking about? That weird picture that went around, the, the Momo picture or whatever it's called. That was like actually like a Japanese bird sculpture from some artist. That's kind of what Kimberly looks like. She's got that look. <sighs> okay, this is not the game. I'm sorry. I was right the first time. <clears throat> oh man. Oh, this is. I'm just. I'm just fooling around at this point. Oh lord. That was hilarious. <sighs> Uh, Alright, so I guess it was the second one. I guess that's just how the game looked. I never noticed that's how it looked on, on the Game Boy, I guess. I don't know if you guys saw, but like there was kind of like some weird, weird flickering, but I think that's just how the game looks. <clears throat> I figured I had picked like the wrong region or something. <clears throat> you see it? Like It kind of has like a weird flicker to it. It's like a shimmer almost. Alright, yeah, whatever. Everybody pick the White Ranger. So the Game Boy player automatically applies the Super Game Boy Color enhancements. Uh, yes. Yeah, it looks strange. I feel like it was more in color though. Could be something off of it. But this was like a somewhat competent beat em up. I played this a lot too. I like this game because it was easy. It was an easy game that I could get behind. Once you beat up enough enough of the putties, you can get enough power so that you can morph. Sometimes just like farming buddies is the right move. Look at that. Power up. Can't get it. Bruh. You have to hit select to tell it to change. Makes you stronger. Makes you do more damage. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! They've got the ability to. <laughs> I did appreciate as a kid that they actually got the real song. Like the actual music. Putties didn't carry knives, but because they got the shank on them? Jeez. Oh yeah, I remember his boss name. They got the strap. I think if I hit, if I get hit select again, it does like a screen clearing attack or something. Yeah, the AI in this game wasn't particularly uh, good. <laughs> This was a mindless game that I like to play. And I, I felt good every time I beat it, because I was like, yeah, I beat it. I'm good at video games. Even though the reality was, in retrospect, the game was like super simple. You just like sort of run through the city until you get to the boss and then pick up the boss. Bye. 
don't remember what these characters' names were. Professional of Power Rangers, the movie, the game, Speedrunner. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, and with that, I think I'm going to call it. I think we're done here. I think we've, we've completed what we set out to do. We saved the city. We 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 killed the boss. We were samurai for a little bit. We went to the future. We beat up about 30 people using Mr. Karate. We solved some puzzles as furries. We played Tetris Plus for like a bit. I mean, I think we did it all. Like I don't know I don't know what you guys are are seeing, but I think we did it. I think I think it deserves a round of applause. Yeah, 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 I feel good about that. All right, guys, um, I think we're going to call it. I had fun. Hopefully, hopefully you did too. Oh, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, th this, was a, this was a good idea. I had fun. I appreciate you guys hanging with me the whole way. <laughs> Thanks for the sake. <laughs>